San Francisco. The end of the Warriors season might be seen as premature. But the fact is that Golden State already proved everything it needed to in the 2021 season before Friday's contest with the Memphis Grizzlies tipped off. So whether the Warriors played a real seven-game playoff series, or two, wouldn't have changed a thing going into next season. After a disastrous 2019-2020 season, this mid-pandemic 2021 season was a bridge campaign, an opportunity to re-establish the Warriors as a winning team. It was touch and go for a while, but they did it. And so while the end was no doubt disappointing, there's no indictment to be gleaned from Friday's loss. Nothing the Warriors did this season was negated by their play in tournament losses. And let's remember what they proved. Steph Curry, at age 33, showed the league that he's still one of its best players. Playing alongside a roster of cast-offs and improvements, he turned in the best offensive season of his Hall of Fame career, won the scoring title, and was an MVP finalist. And he finished the season on a tear, despite having what Kent Bazemore called a hairline fracture on his tailbone, a byproduct of a nasty fall in Houston. With him leading the way, the Warriors always have a chance, and he looks like he still has years of gasp-inducing, elite play remaining in him. Curry's tag team partner, Draymond Green proved something this season, too. There's no question that Green's offensive game is limited in the most important area, shooting, but no one who watched the Warriors this season can allege that Green is anything less than one of the best operators in the league. After a lost season in 2019-2020, Green was once again one of the league's best defenders. He's a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. He was also one of the NBA's best point guards, he averaged the same amount of assists per game as Phoenix's Chris Paul, the point guard. Green might have run out of gas on Friday, but he was stupendous down the stretch. It's a shame that his season will be remembered for his missed game-winning bunny, because it was so much more than that. Those two, as a tandem, showed that they are still a formidable force in this league that's defined by duos. We got a lot more hell to cause, Green said. Looking forward to it. Give them a bit more help than they had this year and throw them in the mix in what could still be a flat Western Conference next year and they might just go on another run. As for that help, the Warriors might be closer than outside observers will suggest. The Warriors are fully bought in on Andrew Wiggins after a full season with him. I'm not saying it's impossible he's playing for another team next season. Anything is possible in this crazy NBA, but it's going to take a no-brainer offer for the Dubs to move on from him. Is he overpaid? Probably. Was he too passive on offense this season? Yes, far too often.